All right, generalized linear models are defined by specifying two components. Um, first, the exponential family distribution that the response variables are uh, coming from, or y is coming from. And then the second is the link function. Okay, so previously I've uh, talked, talked a little more about the exponential family distributions, and um, I'll provide the link to those videos uh, in the description of this. Um, of this video. But right now, uh, what I want to focus on is this second thing uh, that we need to specify, which is the link function. Okay. And let's start with what is, what are we linking? All right. Um, we are linking a random component. So we have the random component, which is our outcome variables y, or response variables, y, and um, they're following that exponential family distribution, right? So that could be the normal distribution, Poisson, um, uh, binomial, etc., right? Exponential family distribution. Um, then we also have the systematic component. So system component and uh, these are our covariates so these are the uh, the covariates um, x1 x2 all the way through to xp however many covariates we have um, that we use to produce a linear uh, predictor, and we're going to call this guy nu. Okay, the Greek letter nu. It looks like an N with a tail. All right, and this is a linear predictor because remember we are talking about generalized linear models right now. All right, so nu equals g of mu, okay? So mu, this Greek letter mu, this is just our, our mean of the response variable, right? And this g, this g function, this is our link function. So this is the link. All right, all right, so we are linking the random and systematic component um, through this new. Okay, so this is the link. The link between random and um, systematic components. And that's why it's called a link function. All right. Um, the link function, new, or g, sorry, g, this link function g may be any function, any monotonic uh, um, differentiable function. All right. Um, so while it may, it may be any monotonic differentiable function, there are popular uh, choices for G, right? And um, those are the canonical links, the canonical links. Canonical links. And these are where we choose uh, N to equal whatever theta is, right? So um, theta, recall, this is from the exponential family distribution, right? Where, you know, in the exponential family distribution, we have y uh, given theta and uh, psi, and this is equal to e to the power x y, theta minus b of theta divided by a of phi 
minus or plus c of y v. Right? This is the format for um, exponential family distribution. So whatever you choose for theta, right, um, if you let that be your, your link function, that's the canonical link. So sometimes that parameter theta is called the canonical uh, parameter as well. All right, so um, if you recall, for like, for example, the normal distribution, uh, we had theta equal to mu, right, equal to the mean. So the canonical link would just be nu equals um, mu, right? And this is called the identity link. Identity link. All right. Um, for the Poisson distribution, Poisson, uh, theta, when we kind of rearranged, and I can provide the link to this in the description of this video. Um, when we figured out what theta is for this uh, distribution, um, well, once we made it look like look like an exponential family distribution, we figured out what theta was, and we found that theta was log of mu, right? So the not canonical link then would just be uh, nu equals log of mu. And this is called the log link. All right. Um, also for binomial, another example. Uh, if you were to to um, rearrange the binomial distribution, make it look like an exponential family, you will find that theta equals um, the log of. A lot of times in binomial, we call it pi instead of mu, but pi is the same thing, right? So the probability of success, same thing as your mu, right? Um, and so this, the canonical link will then just be log of pi over one minus pi, right? This is called the logit link, okay? Um, so canonical links, they lead to uh, desirable statistical properties, though they um, definitely are not the only link option, right? And, um, and they're not always the best option, right? So you want to do model fitting. Um, you want to you know, test the quality of your fit uh, after you've you know run an analysis and see which links are, are, are the best. Um, for example, for the binomial distribution, um, there are several other popular choices um, that are not the canonical link. So other binomial links include new equals um, the inverse uh, normal distribution um, with probability uh, pi, right? This is called the probit link. All right. Um, another popular choice is new equals log negative log of one minus pi, right? And this is called the complementary log log link. log log link all right so there are potentially other links other than the canonical links that you can use all right um and you will use model fitting uh or you know, testing model testing the models fit to kind of decide which one is doing the best job which one makes uh, the most sense to use um, for a particular data set